Although off-ball movement can be complex and hard work, it creates a lot of opportunities for yourself and for your teammates. So right here, he's trying to deny me the basketball on the baseline. So I'm going to casually walk into setting a little bit of a back screen. Pause. As I am setting this back screen, I'm also kind of going to throw my teammate's defender into my defender. And what it does is it causes enough confusion to create space and results in a corner three. Now, that little bit of off-ball movement that I did created this much space. He has to recover all the way from the paint to contest a corner three. That's extremely difficult to do. And though he does a great job hustling, the ball is gone. This is another example of another corner three from off-ball movement. And the ball's in the post. So the easy thing for me to do is to just stand where I'm at. However, look at my defender. His head is turned. So I'm going to relocate to the open spot, which is the corner. Pause. And my teammate does a great job. This is very difficult to guard. He's going to do a handoff into a ball screen. And that's how the open three is possible right there. Now, off-ball movement is not limited to just the half court. This was a full-court denial situation that resulted in two points because of off-ball movement. And right here, he's trying to deny me from getting the basketball. I'm going to give him one hard jab. Pause. And that one hard jab takes him out of the play totally. Now it's going to be a foot race between me and the other defenders. And that's going to result in two points. And that's a great pass. Right on time, right where it had to be. And having a motor in basketball helps a lot because... You move so much that you find a lot of opportunities for the defense to fall asleep. And that's exactly what happened on this play right here. I'm running the baseline, running behind the zone. And you're going to see, after I come off of this double screen, I'm going to be so open. Pause. I do not even have to use the second screen. The guy on the right is pointing to the guy on the left, telling him to get out there. But because of the off-ball movement, it's too hard to recover, and it results in an open three. This was a similar scenario, except I did not come off of an off-ball screen. I just cut really hard to the open spot. And right here, you see there's the potential to stay wide. However, that right side of the floor has a gap. And once I see that gap, I am cutting extremely hard to that gap because that's going to take the defense by surprise. And that's how the open three took place right there. Right here we have it in a transition situation where moving without the basketball creates points again. And we are actually parallel right now. So I could easily just stop or I could try to go get the basketball near the center of the court. However, because I did my job and my teammate runs his lane in front of me, space is created. And that defender has to try to recover from that half circle all the way to close out for a three. And that is very difficult. Moving without the basketball creates so many opportunities, and the more you move, you're going to eventually find something.